Kristen Zambita from Springdale Park, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Gizmos. So Gizmos is an app that APS pays for, and you can find it on my backpack. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in Gizmos here. And once you open it, you may have to log in um, originally with an account, but again, uh, Atlanta Public Schools pays for it, so that's really nice. Uh, you'll see your classes in IC here. Um, so you can go ahead and assign things to your students, but I'm just going to walk you through some of the perks. Uh, there's at the top, there's uh, academic standards, teacher resources, online PD, and you can also um, adjust your account settings. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you uh, a fifth grade. It, it has math and science lessons, but I'm going to show you a fifth grade math lesson first. So you can search by the Georgia math standards, which is really nice. And then whatever you're teaching, you can see the linked lessons underneath it. So um, we're just going to go ahead and pull up um, fraction gardening because our school-wide PBL is on fighting food insecurity. And at Spark, we have a rooftop garden. So if I look at fraction gardening, I can go to the lesson information. I can assign it to my class and I can launch it. So we'll just start by looking at the lesson information. Um, you'll have the learning objectives, you'll have some vocabulary, and what's really nice is you get these lab sheets uh, that look like this, and the lab sheets are in a PDF, a Google Doc, or in um, Microsoft Word, so you can adjust them um, based on your groups um, and differentiate them. Sometimes I'll throw them into ChatGPT and either raise or lower Alexa level if needed, um, and then there's a nice little answer key. There's also vocabulary sheets so that you can pre-teach and a nice little teacher guide. So we'll just launch this gizmo so you can get an idea of how it looks. And um, right now you see that I have two characters on here and I have a distance to travel and I have distance chalk mark. So you can just press it to see what happens. And you can see that this character right here, he, go he plants a flower at one half. And let's say I want Chalky to put some chalk marks. So he's going to go ahead and mark, mark off. And now I want Blossom to go. So I'm going to click Blossom. And Blossom also planted. Now, you can add some mystery reads. You can clear it. You can change it to different fractions. And as the students are ma manipulating through this, they also have a lab sheet that they can be filling out. And I'll show you that. So here's the PDF of the lab sheet. Um, again, the vocabulary is at the top. They uh, have some prior knowledge questions, and then they ask you questions as you manipulate through the app. You'll start with a little warm up, and it will tell the students what to do um, step by step, which is really nice. And they can fill this out. And the lesson um, goes through three activities, but again, there's an edible copy if that seems a little bit too much for your students. So that's a math lesson. And we're gonna find a science lesson. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna browse it by Georgia, and I'm gonna go to a fifth grade lesson. And my fifth graders right now are working on erosion, deposition, weathering, and uh, landforms and how the earth changes. So I'm going to go down and I'm actually going to switch this to science. Hey, and I'm going to look for some lessons on that. And you can see there's some river erosion, weathering, plate tectonics, river erosion. Um, so we'll just pull up one of the river erosion lessons. Again, I'm going to look at the information, and it will just give you some basic information. It'll give you the sheets, the teacher guide, the vocabulary. So sometimes when you want to do a lab, but you don't want all the noise, because maybe another class is testing, or you want to um, do a lesson to make sure they understood it, these are good labs to do, and they don't require you um, pulling a bunch of materials. So we'll just launch this one and take a look around. So again, you have these buttons where the students can choose and the, the lab sheets will tell them exactly what to do. 
gives vo- vocabulary, and they get to simulate what would happen in the earth based on uh, decisions that they make. Right now, we're showing long-term erosion. Maybe we want to lower our vegetation and show short-term erosion. Okay, you can also show the path that um, a person is taking as they go through the river. So Gizmos is just a great app uh, for math and science where you the students get hands-on experience. Uh, it relates to real-world situations, and it's quick if you need a quick lab and you don't have time to pull materials, although we always advocate for hands-on learning. So this is just another fun way to use technology. Thanks for listening. My name is Kristen Zavita from Springdale Park Elementary School. Thank you.